We're just two weeks away from our show of strength, our all-local telethon to benefit the Muscular Dystrophy Association. MD is a devastating disease, but thanks to your generosity, there is hope. And as you'll find out in tonight's Making a Difference report, no one defines hope more than the young lady you're about to meet. This one's not too bad. I've been on a lot worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Have you been to New Orleans? Just because you lose use of your muscles doesn't mean you lose hope. We're making it work. Sarah Schwegel has always let hope and determination shape her future. Now 28, she's a friend and mentor to young girls like 11-year-old Tilly McRoberts. After all, when you're young and still figuring out where you're going, ask someone who's been there before. Mommy, I want a water balloon. Sarah was born with SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, a disease that progressively weakens the muscles to the point that you can't even cough, which makes a common cold uncommonly frightening. I spent a lot of time in children's hospital. Here we go. Even opening a bag of chips is nearly impossible. But the time she remembers most is that week every summer at MDA camp. I got to go be with all of my friends, be away from my parents, and have someone that I knew and trusted to take care of me. And that was so important for me as a disabled child because I got to learn what it was like to be independent. Yeah. What would you like to tell them? Um, please call. Through our local MDA telethon broadcasts, we've watched Sarah grow up. She'd be right by my side every Labor Day. And then Sarah went national. I told everyone at MDA that I think you're so adorable. It was on the national MDA telethon in 2001 that Jerry Lewis asked Sarah to be MDA's goodwill ambassador. That year, Sarah was the face of the fight, not just for St. Louis, but for the entire country. Well, I got to travel across the country and speak with um, all of the sponsors for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. It turned out to be good training for what was to come. After getting a bachelor's degree at Maryville University and a master's in public administration at St. Louis U, Sarah now works at the nonprofit Paraquad, helping people with disabilities become the best advocates they can be. My prayer was always that God um, keep her happy and give her work to do, um, and he listened. And apparently he's still listening. Sarah is on a new breakthrough drug called Evrisd. I can now lift my arm up off of my armrest, which is something I haven't been able to do since I was a small child. And remember that bag of chips she couldn't open? Well, now she can. Woohoo! Okay. Places will meet those minimum ADA requirements. Throughout her life, there have been plenty of obstacles in her way. For Sarah Schruggle, those obstacles were just stepping stones. She chose hope, making anything possible. Sarah is truly one of my favorite people in the world, and you're going to get to see her and so many other amazing folks on our show of strength, the first ever local MDA telethon in prime time. I'll co-host with Ann Allred two weeks from tonight, 8 to 10 p.m. right here on 5 on your side. And special thanks to the St. Louis Cardinals and Cardinals Care, who today made the first donation by including MDA in their 50-50 raffle. Hope you'll mark your calendar for Sunday, September 5th.